For more information and a full transcript of this video, check out funforthedisabled.com. When joining us for this video, you need to take some precautions as your health and safety are the most important. To avoid any injury or harm, you need to check your health with your doctor before exercising. By performing any fitness exercises without supervision like with this video, you are performing them at your own risk. See a fitness professional to give you advice on your exercise form. Strategy for Access Foundation NFP and Shirley Ryan Ability Lab will not be responsible or liable for any injury or harm you sustain as a result of this video. Hi everyone, uh, so today we're going to do a little bit of work with the legs. For most of the exercises today, we're just going to use body weight and we're going to be standing. But if you have some weights, if you have something that you can add to load up the exercises again, please feel free to use that. Uh, if you need a little assistance, especially for balance, you can use a chair, you can use a table, countertop, wherever you have available to you. Well, we're going to start standing and then we're going to move to lying down on the floor. So if you have a mat or a carpet that you can lie down that's soft, you use that. Otherwise, you can stick with just the upper body ones. Enjoy. All right, so for this first exercise, we're going to do some squats. So these, we're going to do them, I'm going to do them just standing. So feet about shoulder width apart, right? Head up, chest up the whole time. So making sure as we lower, right, we're coming down, we're coming back up, squeezing those glutes to help us get up. Uh, so as you go, making sure that we're pushing the hips back. We're not letting the knees fall forward, right? And then hands can be either at your side, you can be in front of you, wherever is most comfortable. Um, I prefer with them in front. Uh, if you need it, you can always go from a surface like a chair, uh, or you can just do body weight and then change how low you go as you're comfortable. Okay, so we're gonna go for 10. Okay, ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Good. Keep the head up, the chest up the whole time, right? Find a pace that works for you, nice and easy. Give me a few more here. Good, last one. Nice. So the next exercise is going to be some reverse lunges. So we're going to start, feet about hip width apart. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take a big step back with your left foot. You're going to drop down as if to kneel, right? So down and then back up, stepping back forward. If you prefer not to step back in, you can leave it there and then just go up and down from that position. So I'll show you what that looks like from the side. So if I'm going to take my right foot, I'm going to step back, I'm going to drop down, and then I'm going to come back up. Head and chest stay up the whole time. There's no reason to lean forward. All right, we're gonna do 10 each side, okay? All right, so now let's step back with uh, that right foot. So we're gonna go back, down, one. Back, down, two. Back, down, three. Good, keeping that head and that chest up the whole way, right? Good steps, so it doesn't have to be a huge one, remember? Nice and easy, making sure we're breathing, All right? Good press on the way up, making sure we're pressing through those heels. Good, give me a couple more. Last one. Right, so the next exercise, we're gonna do some lateral lunges. Uh, so we're gonna be just stepping over to the side, dropping down, and then coming back. So as we step, making sure it's a big step to shift your weight over, keeping that other leg nice and straight, pushing the hips back, just like we did the squats. All right, so we're going to go 10 times to either side. So let's go to your left side first. All right, here we go. One, and back. Two, and back. Good. Making sure as you step, keeping those feet forward, right? Slightly out is okay, but you don't want your foot turning out all the way. You use completely different muscles. So let's make sure we're keeping those feet forward. You got a nice smooth motion going all the way down, all the way back up. Good, give me two more, and last one. Good, now let's switch sides. So nice and big step, good, two, nice. All right, making sure we're pushing through that heel, we're using this leg all the way through, head up, chest up. Good, nice straight leg on the other side. A few more here. Good, two, and last one. Next exercise we're gonna do are some deadlifts. Uh, so this one, if you have some weight, you can add it in. Uh, just keep it in your hands in front of you. Otherwise, you can do just body weight, and we'll focus more on making sure that we're lengthening those hamstrings and we're filling a pull there. 
Um, so feet about hip width apart here. All right, uh, back nice and flat. What you're gonna do is at your hips, you're gonna hinge forward, right? Until you feel a nice pull on those hamstrings and you're gonna come back up. All right, so once again from the side, uh, so hinging at the hips, nice flat back, coming back up. If you wanna make this a little bit more difficult, you can do it with one leg at a time, add a little balance and then uh, force you have to work some other muscles there. So we can always hinge forward and then come up. So from the side, making sure that the body is moving all as one, right? So we wanna make sure that it's this fluid movement, that they're both together, that we're not doing one at a time. Uh, for me, I'm just gonna do the regular deadlifts down and up. Uh, we're gonna do it for 10, okay? So, are we ready? Here we go. So down, one, good, down. Two, try not to reach for the ground when you get down here. That's gonna round your back. You just want to lean forward. If you want to, you can always cross the arms, right? Making sure you're not tempted to reach down. All right, almost there, keep it going. Making sure we're using those glutes, using those hamstrings to pull back up the whole way. Good, last one. Nice. Next exercise we're gonna do are some calf raises. So for this one, I'm gonna demonstrate them uh, and perform them with both feet, but I'll show you options if you wanna do a single leg, make it a little bit harder. Uh, so when you're pressing, right, simple up and back down. So if I go sideways, so you'll see I'm getting my, my ankles up, back down, the rest of my body is nice and straight, just simple up and back down. Um, as you press, make sure that you're pushing through your toes, that you're not letting your feet fall out. Right, we want to make sure we're using the right muscles here and we're keeping our balance as best as possible. So we're going to go for 10. All right, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Good. So pressing through those toes, right? You should be feeling it in the calves now. Right, if you need it, you can always grab something, use a little balance, right? Good. Last one here. Next exercise we're going to do are some curtsy lunges. So for this one, we're going to stand on our right leg the whole time. Left leg, you're going to swing it behind, around, so that your toes are down on the ground. And then you're going to squat down, all right, bringing it back. So similar to the other exercise, if you feel more comfortable, you can leave it there, just go up and down, or you can do what I do and step in and out every time. We're going to go for 10 on each side, all right? So we're going to go with the right leg first. So let's go step, one, back up. Making sure our head and our chest stay up nice and tall every time, right? We don't want to turn our body too much, right? We don't want to lean over too much, just enough to keep the balance. Good, about halfway there. Nice, keep breathing for me. Good. You play with the distance of your step as well if you need to. Give me one more. Good, now let's switch sides. So same thing with the right, here we go. One, back up, good. Two, and back up. Three, and back up. Nice, keeping that posture the whole time, right? Head up, chest up. Now leaning forward, we're not gonna lean over too far, right? Good, over halfway there. A few more here. Good, two more. And last one, good. So the next exercise, we're gonna do a little bit of hip abduction. Uh, so we're kinda gonna swing your leg out to the side. So hands on the hips, or if you need to stabilize, you can always hold on to something. Uh, we're gonna stand on our right leg, and then we're gonna take our left leg and swing it out. So if you can, try not to go straight out with it, try to maybe angle back just a little bit, okay? So from the side, we're gonna angle back, we're gonna go back just a little bit. You should feel that right here and that glute will get tired out pretty quickly so you'll know you're working the right muscles. Uh, we're gonna go for 10 on each side, okay? So right side, here we go. One, two, good. Three, count with me. Four, five, make sure we're breathing. Good, about halfway there. Already feeling it. Good, one more. Nice. All right, same thing on the other side. Here we go. One, 
two, three, four, five. Good. Making sure we're breathing, making sure we're keeping our balance the whole way. One more. Very nice. For these next few exercises, we're going to be on the ground. So I'm going to use this mat here. We can use whatever you have available to you. So we're going to lay back on your back. We're going to bend the knees. We're going to keep the feet uh, about six inches apart. Uh, keep them about a foot away from your, uh, from your backside. Uh, and then we're going to do some bridges. So from here, what I want you to do is I want you to push through your heels to raise the hips up off the mat, squeezing the glutes as you get up. All right, so we're gonna go for 10. If you feel like you wanna make this a little bit more difficult, you can raise one leg and keep it up. Uh, or you can always play with how close or how far away your feet are. All right, so for 10, here we go. One, and then back. Two, back. Now making sure we're breathing, right? So count out loud for me as you go, good. About halfway there, making sure we're squeezing the glutes. Now I don't like having my hands at your side, at my sides, but you can always bring them up on top because that's more comfortable. Good, couple more. Nice. Right, for the next one, we're gonna do some leg raises. So what I'm gonna have you do is roll over onto your side. So however is comfortable, if you want to prop up or if you want to lie down, either one will work just fine. I'm going to be propped up a little bit, so what I want you to do is straight legs, I want you to try to raise the leg, nice and easy for me. Think fair faucet. So I want 10 good raises here, right? Try not to let your foot turn out, I want a nice straight line up and down. Alright, so here we go. One, two, good, keeping your body nice and straight, not letting it fall, not letting it roll. Don't worry about how high you're getting it. Go as far as you're comfortable, and then back down. One more. Good. All right, now we're gonna switch sides. And we're gonna do the same thing, okay? So lying down, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Good, making sure we're breathing. Nice straight leg. Not letting that foot turn. Good, one more. Very nice. All right, next exercise we're gonna do are some leg circles. Uh, so the same position, we're gonna lie down on the side. And then if you're gonna raise your leg, you're gonna give me some circles forward, circles backwards. So like you're drawing it with your heel, now with your toes. So I want those toes pulled up the whole time. Uh, so leg up and then count with me. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and without putting it down, let's go backwards. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Now we're gonna switch sides and we're gonna do the other leg. All right, so forwards for five, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, backwards, one, two, three, four, and five. Good. All right, next exercise we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna go into a bridge, but then we're gonna do some walkouts. All right, so we're gonna lie back down on our back. We're gonna bring the legs in, right? So for this one, you're gonna give me a bridge, then you're gonna walk your feet out, and then come back. So you're gonna do so without letting your hips drop, okay? So we're gonna do 10 total. We're gonna to keep it simple. We're gonna take one step, big step out, one big step in. If you wanna make it a little more difficult, you can take more steps out and back in, okay? So are we ready? So we're gonna lift, and here we go. Out, out, back, back. One, out, out, back, back. Two, making sure we're breathing throughout. Right, no holding your breath, making sure you're keeping those glutes nice and tight the whole time, making sure we're keeping those abs nice and tight, right? Core nice and tight the whole way, back and forth. If you need to take a break at any time, do so. Right, if you need to rest, you can. Otherwise, keep it going. We got a couple more here. Good, last one. 
and 